In the corporate council unit, a small but growing number of in-house council legal teams have been changing the delivery systems for corporate legal services. With a focus on value, non-traditional dispute resolution, and leveraging people, technology, and information, these courageous teams have challenged conventional wisdom, as well as a deeply embedded and elite status quo. This is their story. Law department, please hold. Law department, please hold. What do you want? I, I, I need to see a lawyer about this contract. Nobody sees a lawyer, not no way, not no how. Just slip it under the door. They'll get back to you when they're good and ready. We've got to change the way we provide services to these folks. In short, business as usual just wasn't going to be an option for us. We had to find new ways to become more efficient, more effective, and accessible. And I knew that we could blaze new trails for the FMC Technologies legal team. It's all summed up in our mission statement, which starts out with a very simple statement. We are not lawyers. But of course we are in fact lawyers. The point is we're not the kind of lawyers that you're used to dealing with. We look at things from the client's perspective, from the customer's viewpoint. The legal team plays a vital role in helping us to understand and mitigate the legal risk we face as a corporation. Their management of that risk, obviously, is uh, the most important role they play. Obviously, while disputes in a company our size may be inevitable, we work hard to resolve those matters efficiently and effectively early in the process. Disputes are inevitable. Handling them with the business as usual approach is not. We've got to focus on value. Change is occurring and it's inevitable. It's a tough road, but it's a well entrenched status quo. Ralph Palumbo of Summit Law Group is one of the company's outs outside counsel. And he one time said that FMC Technologies was his most important but least significant client. And those of us who've worked with Jeff and his team finally figured out what that meant. Um, and I explain it this way. Um, I used to wake up in the morning and wonder how I was going to meet my hours quota or how my firm was going to make money. And after working with Jeff and his team, you stop thinking that way and you start waking up thinking, how do I get FMC Technologies out of a case today? How do I shorten the time that it's involved in a dispute? We've incorporated CPR disciplines into our contracts and used consultations and mediations to resolve disputes early and effectively. This not only saves costs, but allows us to maintain the business-to-business -business relationships. We approach dispute resolution holistically. First of all, we try to avoid it. Second of all, we try to resolve it efficiently and effectively. Third of all, we learn from it, both procedurally and substantively. And then number four, cycle that learning back into continuous improvement. This makes us focus on the business objectives rather than interesting questions of law. I'm very proud of this team and the journey that we've taken together. I'm invigorated by the fun that we've had. I'm humbled by the recognition that we've received. But even more than that, I'm privileged to come to work every single day with such a great, talented, and committed group of people.
Jeff, it's been so long since I've been to court for you, I think I've forgotten how to object. Maybe that's not so bad, Pat. You know, it's like so many things in life. When it's all said and done for, it's not the thrill of battle, it's the results that really count. All I know is that when you litigate on principle, you better be ready to pay a lot in interest. Makes sense. But when do you think everybody else is going to start thinking like us? I have no idea, my friend, but I do know I don't have any choice anymore. Stay thirsty, my friend. <laughs>